Notice that the two towers are different, at least at the top. The left one, very simple top. The right one, more artistic. The left one has an 809 number on it, and the other had 2009 on it. Take from that what you will at this point. And up in the background, silhouetted, is the top of the city wall. I'm going to be climbing up there this morning or beyond a little ways up through that gorge that I had explored briefly yesterday. The restaurant's silent now, but there tourism is the primary reason this place exists as well as it does, I suspect. It's lovely just contemplating living here. This is one of the few little towns I've been excited about, the prospect of spending a week or two living here, if you could. All of this is reconstructed and who knows when, but still the effect is apparently original. And it's a very lovely effect. That the west gate or the main gate out of the original town and this one. And this large L-shaped square has its own squatty clock tower. The time might actually be correct on this one. Nineteen forty four. I don't know what that is. I'll do a three sixty. I love the solitude and the quietude of morning because I think it's perhaps a reflection of how such times have always existed as opposed to the cacophony of the tourist era, although you do even in the early morning have to try to subtract out the noise of modern engines. It's interesting to watch this little sparrow. The big birds will occasionally try to get at his piece and he just grabs it and takes off with it. Every once in a while when I'm walking through this particular area, I get the rich smell of flowers, the rich perfume. I can't be sure what it is. This is the time of morning that the aggressive tourists or travelers are getting out of town to get a bus so they can get an early start to wherever it is that they're going. I'm guessing this is the Montenegro flag. We're at the north end gate now, which I won't enter on this trip. But instead I'll walk down there and access the trail up. I chuckled at a young man going to work, or going to work chuckled at me. and Said, you stand up early. In other words, you get up early. I chuckled back. Above that building are the switchbacks that go up to the top. <clears throat> and Stefan, the medical student from Germany, told me that at a certain point it branches one way or the other and goes off up to the top of the mountain, which took him about a three-hour hike. I'll start that way, I think, later on, but I don't think I'll go all the way to the top. You can hear the pump, the water pump, huge water pump, electrical pump, to my right, and there's no water in the river at this point, but I suspect they've dammed it up above, run a huge pipe down through here to the point on my right, and then freed the water, what remained for whatever reason, down below that little check dam there because the rest of it has at least what appears to be a slow flowing river. I imagine that this trail now was once a fairly well-developed uh, old road that may even have accommodated wagons. Now it principally accommodates 
people and sometimes burrows. Here on this bite of the switchback trail was apparently some structure and some other interesting use. Looks industrial, but who knows? Somebody could have just made a house up here. Here's some kind of rock wren. See how it bumps up and down? No, it's not doing it now that I say it should. Relatively moderate walk up through these switchbacks as opposed to coming up a steeper trail. Having even more credence to the fact that it was used for donkeys to haul a heavier laden wagon. And once upon a time, somebody had taken the time to carve that little niche for their religious icon of, I think, Mary. First time I've seen this where there are stones lining the inside of the road. And no doubt who's ever been stealing those other stones has been stealing these from the walls also. house we saw being built down below or sided with those kind of little square stones may be the recipient of what's been stolen from up here. And this may or may not be the juncture that Stefan spoke of, but I'm going to go to the left. There are people up above, locals walking. He's got a billion little flies all around his eyes. Couple more members of that small mountain family. This is a well marked, relatively new trail. This sign apparently means you've come to a switchback. So you come up from below and you hang a left. There are others that are round circles indicating you're on the trail. Others with round circles that have arrows pointing in the direction you go. And others that are three straight lines, white in the middle, red on the sides and they're horizontal lines and that indicates that I think you're on the right trail just keep going. It's interesting that the person or people who built this walkway with its substantial walls um, put this lovely curve in at this uh, switchback. Why? Is it just a rest? It looks like we can see the double border line on the left but then these stones it may have reflected the original pavement they've risen some reason or were already raised but um, and there ahead of us is a more substantial structure. I imagine that this installation up here was for some kind of cannon gun emplacement. Certainly it gave it a tremendous view of the lake <laughs> defending this port. This sign to tell me I'm taking a corner. <laughs> 